I'm at a house here. Supposedly it's been closed off for 30 years. It's kind of a weird feeling always going into these kind of houses. You just don't know what you're going to find. The lady that asked me to do this showed me some of the pictures and uh, looks pretty interesting. It's a big old house, supposed to have 17 rooms. I'm going to be entering the house. That was supposed to be put the other way so you can't take his food out. I don't even know. There is, I'm finding more and more stuff. There's a, a treadle machine over there, and I know there's a treadle machine over here. There's an old TV, I think, here. That might be an old TV there and up there. Mango. I honestly don't know. Okay. Careful, the floor is a little slippery. Yeah, the floor is slippery when it gets wet. It's a great old rug. Yeah. So when was this last lived in? Yeah. The lady died and that was about 25 to 30 years ago. 28. 28 years ago she lived here. And when she died, they come up and they buried her and they just padlocked the house and just left it. She collected things. I see that. Sometimes I video this stuff just because... You get it. Can't I, you can't. There's an overall view of this stuff. Boids. <laughs> and in some of these, there's records. I think okay. in this, this. Hi, I'm Scott from Heckman Auction, and today we're going into this circa 1900 arts and crafts home. 17 rooms, been closed up for 30 years. This is the main dining room with the arts and crafts fixture. And as we pan to the right, looking down that hall, secondary dining room. The downstairs living room with the arts and crafts fixture. A carpet from the living room. Up the stairs to the right is where the secondary entrance was added during the depression to make this upstairs an apartment. Apartment kitchenette. Here's the upstairs landing as we found it and the entrance to the attic. Here's the first bedroom to the right and it had a bunch of clocks and radios and sewing machines and different things. Looking down the hallway you can see the banister. Next the upstairs second bedroom and there was interesting items in here as well. The upstairs bathroom with the pedestal sink. At the end of the hallway was the master bedroom as we found it with interesting items in the attic as well. We're going down in the basement and uh, it's got no lights and the place has had a big old boiler in it. Probably a few things down here. Really going to have to get our hands dirty though. I found a McCoy pot and this nice old would-be cabinet but there's a couple old wood planes in there. There's an old trunk over there. Oh, there's some more stuff in that cabinet. One side of the porch before and after. And what did we find? Arts and crafts architecture, old rugs, vintage advertising items, lots of furniture from different eras, lamps and lighting, sterling silver, vintage clothing, and many, many antiques. All of it is frozen in time. The Butternut Estate Auction, May 7th at 10 a.m. Visit heckmanauction.com for more photos and details.